Welcome to Mr. Heaton's Math Lab. And in this video, we're going to learn how to solve for addition and subtraction word problems. Whenever we're dealing with a word problem, we could do a couple tricks to make it easier for us to understand what they are asking. So one thing we could do is we could read the problem out loud. We can whisper it to ourselves, we can just mumble it under our vo voice, but as long as we're reading it out loud, it makes it a little bit easier. Another thing for us to do is to figure out what they're asking. So we need to identify important information. We need to see if they're adding or subtracting. So we look for information for adding. We look for stuff like the word more. We look for something like plus. We can look for the word add. Those are gonna tell us that we need to add something or even maybe the word combined or combining. So let's take a look and let's read this question and see what they're trying to do. So Jack, he had 45 books. So it sounds like he started out with 45 books, okay? And it says he bought 16 more. So remember, we see that word more here. That means that we are gonna add. So he bought 16 more books at the store. Okay, how many books does Jack now have? Okay, well he had 45, and we're gonna add 16 to that. So remember, for um, our addition, we could put a line in the middle here. We add five plus six, and if we do that, we could use our finger or count sticks. We'd have one, two, three, four, five, plus one, two, three, four, five, six. Count that in total. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have a one down here. We carry the one to the top. So we have one plus four plus one. That's one plus one, two, three, four plus one. Count that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 61. So how many books does Jack now have? He now has a total of 61 books. So again, if we're looking to add, we always wanna see a word like more, together, combined, add. So we can figure out that we are really adding because there's gonna be a time where we're not gonna have this word addition at the top and we're gonna to have to guess, is it addition or subtraction? And we'll look at that later on. So knowing that information, okay, we wanna see that word add, okay? Anything that kind of sounds like add, it might be something that we call a synonym, something that means the same. So more, add, together, combined. Let's see if we can find any of those words. Okay, so we read it out loud. Sarah has 34 stickers, and it's okay to highlight things that you think are important. Okay, her friend gave her 28 more. Well, there's that word more, so we know we're gonna add these together. Her friend gave her 28 more stickers. How many stickers does Sarah have now? Well, she originally had 34 stickers, and now she's given 24 more stickers, so she's gonna increase the amount of stickers that she has. So let's add this together. We put a line down the middle, we have four plus eight. We know that that is 12, so we put a two here and a one here. So one plus three plus two, that's gonna be six. So the answer is 62. And that's how many stickers Sarah has now. Now let's try some subtraction. So whenever we see subtraction, we need to find words that tell us that something has been removed. Something is gone, okay? Or we could think of like leftover. We can think of words like gave away or maybe the word fewer. Okay, and these words can help us out. It tells us that something has been removed. Okay, so let's read this together. There were 75 balloons at the party. 46 balloons popped. How many balloons are left? Well, we got a couple clues. We got that word left, so we know we will subtract from that. We also got this word popped, right? It means that 46 balloons have been removed. So we know we have 75 to start with. We removed 
46. So what is left over? So when we do our function, we put a line down the middle. We have 75 minus 46. So we first take a look at the 5 minus 6. Well, we can't subtract a value that's smaller on the top. So we have to borrow 1 from the 7. So we take a 6 here. We put the 1 in front. So we have 15 minus 6. And we know 15 minus 6 will be 9. But let's just double check. So we have 15, 6, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We we'll remove six of those, three, four, five, six, and we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine left over. Now six minus four, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. We're, we remove four, and we're left with one, two. So how many balloons are, le balloons are left? We have 29 balloons left. Now let's try another subtraction problem. So remember, whenever we're trying to find something that means subtract, we're looking for words that mean similar to being removed. And we can think of words like left or gave away. Those will help us in understanding that we are trying to subtract. So when we read this out loud, let's see if we can find any of those words. So Sam had $50 for lunch. He spent $18 on lunch. How much money does Sam have left? Well, there's our key. We see that word left, so we know that we are going to subtract. So we started out with $50, or Sam did, and he had or used $18 for lunch. So let's see what that answer is going to be. So 0 minus 8 we can't do, so we have to take a 1 from the 5. So we have 10 minus 8, that will be 2. 4 minus 1, that is 3. So Sam has $32 left. Okay, now let's try doing a three-digit number. And this time, we're not going to know if we add or subtract. So now we need to figure out, are we adding or are we subtracting? Now remember, if we're adding, we're going to look for words like more. We're going to look at words that might be like added or in total. And if we are subtracting, then we're going to be looking for words like removed, left, gave away. So let's read this out loud and see what we can find out. Okay. So there are 234 kids at summer camp. On the second day, 156 more kids joined. Well, we see that word more. And that's going to mean we're going to add these together. So how many kids are at the camp now? So we originally had 234, and we added 156. Okay, well, let's see how many kids there are in total now. So if we add that up, we have 4 plus 6. Well, if we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and we add 6, 4, 5, 6, that's going to be a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we put a zero there. The one goes to the top. So now we have one plus three, two, three, plus five, one, two, three, four, five. We add that up. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A nine there. Now we add a two plus one. That's going to be three. So there's a total now of 390 kids. All right, now let's try this one. So we need to figure out if we are going to add or we're going to subtract. Okay, and then remember, if we're adding, we're looking for words like more. If we are looking to subtract, we want to see that something has been removed. Okay, we're left with something left over. Okay, now let's take a look. So as we read this, we can always highlight place things that are important. Lisa counted 483 birds at the bird sanctuary. That's a lot of birds. And 256 birds flew away. How many birds are left at the sanctuary? Okay, well, we see that word left, so we know we're going to subtract, right? There's three, 265 birds flew away. So we have 483 minus 265. Okay, if we subtract that, we're going to put a line down here, put another line here. 
3 minus 5, that can't happen because 3 is smaller than 5. So we have to borrow 1 from the 8. That makes that a 7. Put a 1 in the front. So we have 13, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 lines minus 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That leaves us with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. 7 minus 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, minus 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we're left with 1, 4 minus 2, that is 2, so we're left with 218 birds in the sanctuary. Okay, now let's try this one. So remember, if we're going to add, we want to see the word more, we want to see total, or maybe in total. If we have subtract, then we want to see that word either removed, or left. What is left over? Okay, so if we read this along, there were 518 desks in the school. 192 desks were removed to another school. How many desks are left? We got the word left. So if we see that, that means we are going to subtract. So there is 518 desks minus 192. Okay, let's subtract this. So we're going to put lines down the middle. So we look at 8 minus 2. That should be 6. 1 minus 9, that can't happen because 1 is smaller than 9. So now we need to take a 1 from the 5. So we put a 4 there and put that 1 over here. 11 minus 9 will be 2. 4 minus 1, that is going to be 3. So we are left over with 326 desks. Okay, let's try this one. So remember, if we add, we're going to want to see something like the word now, total, extra. And if we subtract, we want to see that word left or removed. Okay, the school library had 487 books. Now they receive a donation of 245 more books. How many books does the library have now? Okay, well we actually have two words. We actually have another word for more, which would count, and we have the word now. So we know we are going to add. So 487 plus 245. If we add that, we're going to put lines down. So we look at the right column first. 7 times, or 7 plus 5 is 12. So 2 goes there and 1 goes at the top. 1 plus 8 plus 4, well that's 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, plus 1, 2, 3, 4. We we'll count that up, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13. So a 3 goes here, and that 1 goes to the top of the next column. So 1 plus 4 plus 2 is 1, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 2, and that should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the answer is 732. If you're looking to take your math skills to the next level, check out Mr. Heaton's Math Lab. We offer a range of resources to help you succeed, from free workbooks and common core assessments to focused mini courses and comprehensive curriculum courses. Head over to www.mrheatonsmathlab.com to get started today.